today we're talking about the vet's role in getting a broodmare prepared for service. When do we need to start thinking about the things that we need to do for this to happen? These days, the broodmare can be served uh, on the 1st of September on. So basically, for a dry broodmare, you want to have her in the best of health and cycling, theoretically, spot on on the 1st of September. There are a number of techniques now in artificially increasing the light that they're exposed to coming up to the spring period. Many studs and bre breeders will put mares under lights up to six weeks prior to the desired cycling uh, time, that being the beginning of September, so that those dry mares are normally covered in their first available opportunity. It has a lot of preparatory work to do to get those mares cycling at that time. A lot of it has to do, as you know, the mare is a seasonal breeder and tends to cycle more strongly through the spring, round about August. Uh, some mares obviously are cycling through the winter, but others that aren't need priming and looking at so that they're right on by the beginning of September. But one of the things that's really been used a lot in recent years is uh, a lot of uh, manipulation with, with a drug uh, that causes ovulation and helps get that precise, and that's helped an awful lot. So that when the mare reaches a certain stage of the cycle, and she's used, uh, she's given ovulation, an ovulation drug, we can pretty much time when she's going to ovulate. And that's very, very helpful for management of the stallion and the mare. When you talk about the mare's cycle, what, what, do you, what do you mean? We're talking about her reproductive cycle. And basically we're trying, it's when she ovulates. And she'll ovulate over, normally a mare will go 21 days between ovulations. And this is a, this is a generalisation but they have approximately five days where they'll show interest in the stallion and will ovulate near the end of that five days. The other 16 days are basically uh, they're not interested and there's really no way you could serve a mare outside that time. When we talk about scanning a mare before service, what does this um, detail? Well, ultrasound scans have now been used for nearly 30 years uh, and it's been something that's been a wonderful tool to give a, a, a visualisation of what's going on in the reproductive tract. Um, normally the ultrasound scan is used to visualise the ovaries so that we can see the activity of the ovary, see when there is going to be an ovulation and time that ovulation, so that the mare then can be presented to the stallion at the best time. When we're getting, talking about getting mares prepared for service, there's a lot uh, more that has gone in, into it today than what we've seen previously. Why has this process been developed the way it has? Well, I think it's all about efficiency, Jane, and I think that the understanding of the mare's uh, reproductive cycle is, is really improved. I mean, there's a lot of people out there working very hard, and, and I think scientists and vets and, and, and animal uh, husbandry people have studied this much more. Now, the, the impetus for that has been Basically, a lot of stallions now, uh, particularly in the, the thoroughbred stallions, have to be served by natural service. And so their amount of, the, the rate that they can be used and the number of mares they can serve, has, has, there's a lot of pressure on the best ones. Some of them are serving up to 150 now. So that sort of stallion that's got a lot of, a big book of mares, needs to be used efficiently. And so that's driven this sort of management.